Hey everyone, welcome to this session. Uh, let's talk about the ICT and the employment. Uh, so here we'll be discussing how these two they relate to each other. That is the information and communication technology with the employment. In our previous video, we're discussing about the information information security. So I hope it was clear. Now let's start with this. Uh, we'll see with the definition of this ICT employment. ICT employment is simply defined as the people working in the information and the communication technology ICT sector. So all the all those people who are involved in the uh, information and communication uh, technology sector are the ones that are called these uh, employed people in the ICT employment facility. Now this indicate indicator is measured as the percentage of business sector employment. Now we can see it as the greater connectivity more than maybe uh, 120 countries now, they have more over 80% market penetration of mobile telephones. Now from there, people just get to be familiar, uh, familiarized uh, with this uh, ICT. Now they also, the utilization of more aspects of work today, telecommuting and the outsourcing have become the standard business practices globally. Now from there is where people just link together and they are, they are employed in this ICT sector. Now the ICTs are providing new avenues uh, for the job creation that could help uh, tackle global unemployment. So global unemployment is recently tackled by this ICT's employment, whereby people just find themselves working uh, within the network, within the internet, in various social media, just to gain something. And it has become as an employment for them. And that's why they are tackling the global unemployment problem that is there within like everywhere. Now, for instance, the development of the mobile phone applications industry has created new opportunities for small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, like everywhere within the internet or within the network in the in our world or within all over the world. Now, a film that provides a digital application to uh, take an example of the Apple App Store, uh, it gains access to over uh, 500 million app stores account holders. Now, in such a way, the ICTs connect people to jobs various jobs are just over there just to tap into and you can get something like an income for person's interest. Now also the online employment marketplaces are helping an estimate level of over like 12 million people worldwide find work by connecting them with the employers globally. So that's how this ICT and employment has come to link, to link together in a way like that, where people are just employed within the internet, uh, within the various organization, uh, that uh, they can gain something from them. And in a way, they are getting some jobs to work into and they can develop their lives. Uh, ICT also support innovation that has created new, more flexible forms of employment and work. Uh, take an example, many people now are more creative in various ways and they've created various great ideas on how you can learn various things and manage things throughout the world. Now, such way it's just as made flexibility uh, in terms of employment and the various work opportunities that are out there within our world. Also, the online contracting uses ICT to increase access to the work opportunities worldwide, mainly for the smaller employers. Uh, popular services include the audits and the errands. Take an example, in 2012, about 2.5 billion jobs were posted on these services for tasks ranging from lighting to customer services to so software development. So that's how like ICT and employment linked up together as we've, we've seen this kind of an example, whereby people have been there and they're getting jobs uh, from these various uh, uh, various popular services that are out there just to obtain various job opportunities. Also, micro work platforms break down large business processes uh, into smaller discrete tasks such as data entry and verification, uh, copywriting or graphic design, and distribute them to overworkers across 
like geographical boundaries. So that's how it is. Whereas micro-work, these small work platforms, they break down large business processes. Uh, like we've seen uh, these such as data entry and verifications, copywriting and graphic designs into these smaller discrete tasks that can be shared all over the world by the workers that are across the geographical boundaries. So that's how this ICT and employment has brought up togetherness people and it has made up work seem very easier. People can do their work uh, while staying at their homes and that way they can gain income. The platforms include uh, the cloud factory, uh, mobile works, and some source. So all these are just some of the micro work platforms where people work across all over the world. ICT also created the opportunities, but also posed new challenges uh, for some workers and employers. By enabling new forms of work, ICT also changes the structure of jobs, uh, the way people develop their, their career and the way they work. So this is one of the disadvantages that has came up with this ICT and the employment linked up together, whereby there there have been some kind of change toward the uh, form of structure of jobs, uh, the way people they can develop their careers and the way they can work up to their careers. So it has been kind of an advantage, disadvantage upon the people. Also, many ICT enable jobs are temporary and they, they are contrary. I mean, contract based. Take an example leading to a separation of work from social safety needs, such as the health insurance or patients. So, this is the other disadvantage linked up with this ICT and the employment, whereby these many ICT, these information and communication technology enabled jobs. Uh, take an example, the ones across the, the web are temporary. This means that they are for only short time, not for a long time, or they are contract based. Now, Take an example, this kind of a thing leads to separation of work from the social safety needs, uh, which you could have obtained them while working uh, within a permanent job, or that is a job that lasts for a long time. Now, but for some young people especially, they offer a way into more formal careers as well as providing supplementary income. So that's one of the advantages to, to teenagers or young people whereby Young people, they just offer a way into more formal careers, these ICT jobs, and as well as providing a supplementary income. So that's all I have for this session. We've discussed the ICT and employment. We've seen the definition, how these are linked up together, their advantages and their disadvantages. Thank you.